guys, welcome back to Victory Fit. So today I have a really interesting topic for my female followers and I'm really excited about talking about this. It's kind of controversial, but you're going to learn so much out of this. I've done a lot of research, I've met with naturopaths, and I'm really happy that I've taken this big step in my life. And that's actually stopping the birth control pill um, after 10 years. So if you're interested in knowing why I did it, um, how I'm feeling, uh, what are the benefits of stopping the pill, well, just keep on watching. So I just wanted to start off this video by saying that I'm not condemning the pill. I'm not against the pill. Like the pill has given women, the creation of the pill has given women so much power in, you know, having the freedom of doing what they want without worrying about pregnancy. I mean, in your teens, you don't want to get pregnant, right? You really need a reliable resource to use in order to not get pregnant. So the pill I've used for years and I've had great results in terms of not getting pregnant. I've never been close to pregnancy. I've taken the pill really well. I believe that it really works 99% of the time. And yeah, so this video is really to spark some thought into your thinking process and to realize what you're actually putting into your body. And you know, the side effects that are written on the pill, that's very limited. There is more to it. Over time and in the long term, as a long term basis, the pill actually does more than what the side effects than what it's written on the box um, of the pills or um, and I'm not just talking about the pill there's also hormonal other hormonal uh, ways of contraception such as the IUD the patch the Nuva ring yeah I'm talking about hormonal birth control so mostly the combination of progestin and estrogen and I'm not telling every girl out there to just stop taking the pill um, I've actually taken some time and made a conscious decision to stop the pill and it wasn't actually um, I, I didn't go into it saying I'll stop the pill it was actually um I'm going to talk a little more about this later on in the video, but I stopped the pill because I wanted to fix my digestive issues. And that's weird because there is a big link between um, digestive issues and the pill. I'll talk about that a bit later, but um, that's the initial reason why I stopped it. And to me, digestion is really important. Your immune system is um, based in your intestines. The way your organs, your digestive organs function really... Um, is the basis of everything like your your happy hormones are are created there plus your nutrients have a lot to do with your overall well-being if you're not well if you're not digesting your nutrients properly then you're not intaking your food properly so digestion is number one for me and part of that is eliminating the pill so a lot of young girls they start going on the pill not because they're um, sexually active but because they have either um, a lot of acne or they have horrible period cramps uh, really bad PMS symptoms so their doctor you would usually prescribe the pill for those reasons but that really is just a band-aid it doesn't actually fix the root cause of the problem. When you do uh, start the pill, it actually shuts down your entire hormonal production process. So not all hormones, I mean the sexual hormones such as estrogen and progestin, and it does affect your testosterone levels as well. Testosterone is really important for energy and weight loss and muscle building, and your testosterone gets really, really low um, when you start the pill, and also, the uh, normal fluctuations of estrogen and progestin which is like this actually it actually becomes like this so your body is constantly being given estrogen and progestin at the same rate all the time which means there's no highs and lows it's normal to have highs and lows and, um, when you're on a pill it's completely constant it's not good because your body is no longer producing any hormones any of these hormones and it's just lazy so when it's time to actually um, stop the pill and if you want to get pregnant or if you just stop the pill for other reasons like for me to, for my digestive issues and other things um, you might not end up having your period and that's bad because having a normal regular cycle is part of being healthy it's a barometer to your health so if you don't have your period regularly that's not a good thing and there is actually something called um, first post birth control syndrome and this is something that happens to women that go off the pill they don't have that don't have their period it's a syndrome and it's something that is um, your body just cannot naturally produce these hormones for a while so and that could be a bit scary so 
that's something that the pill does as well that a lot of doctors or nurses or whatever don't talk about is that there's issues that can happen when you stop the pill. So let's get into the juicy things for the reason why I stopped the birth control pill and the number one is, you probably guessed it, like I mentioned before, that I stopped the birth control pill to improve my digestion. I have terrible digestion. I'm really sensitive to alcohol, caffeine, dairy, and wheat, and corn, and these things. So um, I actually met with a naturopath that specializes in uh, digestive health you can see you can learn more about this in my previous video on gut health but um, gut health is so important to me and it should be for everyone so she told me the first thing she said was are do you take any medication and I said I was on the pill for 10 years and she said that's number one reason you have IBS symptoms and IBS issues um, she said that um, the pill is linked to candida overgrowth and candida is a bacteria that lives in your digestive tract and is the root cause of a lot of yeast infections and vaginitis so I personally never had any yeast infection but she said that women well this is a study uh, women that are on the birth control have um, 70 percent risk of getting yeast infections and vaginitis so um, it's just that somehow the these synthetic hormones in the pill increase your candida overgrowth and um, you end up getting really bad digestion. So that's number one. And this actually makes a lot of sense to me because when I started the pill at the age of 18, I suddenly developed really bad um, digestive issues. I was so sensitive to dairy um, and gluten and wheat and all that stuff and every day I was going to school extremely bloated, gassy, and I've always had issues with my digestion ever since and I've never made the link between the pill and my digestion. And if you do research about candida and the pill, there is a lot of information out there and you know this is something you'll never hear from your doctor or um, written on the back of the uh, box of the pills. So yes, so digestion and the pill it, it really has a big correlation and that is the number one reason I stopped the pill. So my second reason why I stopped the pill and is a big issue with the pill as well um, in the long term, uh, as a long term basis, is that it puts your liver in overdrive. And if you've ever read um, the side effects of the pill or any hormonal birth control, it does say that it may cause blood clots and that's scary. Blood clots can really kill you and um, the reason why is because basically your liver is your detox hormone, so it filters out your blood, it filters out the toxins, it processes um, the proteins, the sugars and fats and minerals and vitamins. So whatever you eat, your liver has to process it. And it's in overdrive because it also processes hormones. So if your body is constantly being shot with synthetic hormones, you'll have an excess of these hormones so your liver has to process this excess hormones every day all the time so it puts it in overdrive and what your liver needs to process hormones or anything is um, certain vitamins and minerals such as vitamin B12, B6, B2, magnesium, selenium, um, zinc and uh, vitamin E and C so these are a couple of vitamins and minerals that your liver needs to function and so these levels are being depleted and when you have low levels of magnesium and zinc and selenium your thyroid is not functioning properly your nervous system is um, at its lowest um, if it's really depleted I mean uh, you you'll have uh, trouble uh, sleeping you may have trouble with depression so these vitamins and minerals are really important basically your liver is in overdrive and it'll have issues doing its normal functions such as processing alcohol or processing your food such as sugars and proteins and fats so you're always pounding your liver all the time and that will eventually could happen it could happen that you can have blood clots or uh, like I said these nutrients are being depleted so my third and final issue with the pill is that it creates estrogen dominance and having too much estrogen is never a good thing um, one of the biggest reasons is that there is a link between estrogen and breast cancer and there is studies that say that women who have been on the birth control or women who have stopped birth control actually have 20 to 30 percent risk of developing breast cancer than women who have never been on the pill 
and if on top of that you're taking the birth control pill so you already have high estrogen and you're eating foods that activate estrogen receptors such as edamame, soy products, flax seeds, you're going to definitely have um, estrogen dominance. And on top of that, we are always being exposed to um, xenoestrogens, which is a chemical, um, an industrial chemical that mimics the behavior of estrogen in the body. And these xenoestrogens can be found in plastics, in food, in personal care products, beauty products, um, unfiltered water. So there's xenoestrogens present everywhere. So let's say you're on the pill which already increases your estrogen, you're eating high estrogen receptive foods, and you're being constantly exposed to xenoestrogens, your estrogen levels will be pretty high. And not only is it linked to uh, breast cancer, it's linked to uterine and cervical cancer. Estrogen dominance is actually linked to having an increase in fat. So if you have high estrogen, um, you can actually tell uh, by the morphology of a woman to see if she has estrogen dominance. If she's most likely pear-shaped, so heavy hips and buttocks and uh, big boobs, um, it means that she has um, a high level of estrogen. So those are my top three reasons why I stopped the birth control pill. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. You probably won't hear much about these um, pill causes from a medical doctor. So I do encourage you to reach out or find a local naturopath that you can talk about with the issues that I mentioned in this video. They, lo they know a bit more about the long-term issues of the pill. Medical doctors kind of don't encourage um, you know, stopping medication too much um, in my ex experience. I mean, there are good doctors out there, but I haven't met any yet. And um, yeah, so I encourage you to do your research, um, definitely on the long-term effects of the birth control pill. So it's currently been like six weeks since I stopped the birth control pill, and I've been feeling pretty good. I got my period on the good time. I'm actually taking a maca supplement right now, which is a hormone balancing um, root vegetable powder that I'm using daily in my protein shakes or in water and um, that's sort of to help my sexual health hormone balancing uh, sexual hormone balancing and I'm taking a prenatal vitamin and I'm taking digestive enzymes uh, probiotics and an immune system booster so those have been working for me and I feel pretty good so that's the update on me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and see you in the next one